So uh, for my three minute thesis, I'm gonna talk about the work that I'm doing in Dave's lab, which is essentially how can we fix a broken heart? So for those who don't know, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. And that can range from diseases that include heart attack, from stroke, as well as arrhythmia, which is what our lab focuses on. And arrhythmia is essentially when your heart beats irregularly and has an abnormal heart rhythm. And that can subsequently lead to your heart um, beating out of control and leading to sudden cardiac death. So I want everyone just really quickly, if you raise your hand, either one, and put it on the center of your chest, pause for a few seconds, you should be able to feel your heartbeat. And if you can't, you can take two fingers, bring them just below your jaw to feel your pulse, which is um, a result of your heart beating effectively. And so have you ever wondered what exactly is responsible for making your heart beat in the rhythm that it does? So we all have this electrical impulse or signal that starts um, in a region of our heart and follows a specific path. And as that signal travels throughout the heart, it causes it to contract and relax and pump blood to the rest of our body and oxygen and nutrients and things that we need to function. And so when that path of that electrical activity in the heart is disrupted, that can then cause your heart to beat abnormally or to contract and relax in an abnormal way. And that leads to disease or specifically an example of this would be arrhythmia, this abnormal rhythm. And so here I'm showing you at the top part of this slide, an example of a healthy heart rhythm, which can be monitored through an instrument called an electrocardiogram or an ECG. And below I'm showing you an example um, of arrhythmia where this rhythm has now been disrupted. So one of the questions that I'm asking as a PhD candidate in Dave's lab is, can we design tools or use a specific therapy that can restore a healthy heart function in the context of disease. So we're specifically looking at a type of arrhythmia um, in which you would see an example of this type of abnormal rhythm. I go into the lab and I use actual heart cells derived from a patient that has a type of arrhythmia that we're interested in. And I test whether these therapies or these tools that we're designing can indeed restore a healthy heart rhythm and therefore um, restore healthy heart function. So I'm trying to find a way to fix a broken heart. Thank you. <laughs>